It's gonna be something needlessly epic, because it's a later game, you know. It's time to board their ship. What? I'll do it. Luke, you stay here. <gasps> what are you talking about, Professor? You can't go without your trusty apprentice. Here we go. Right. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I know the late games are silly, but seriously. Are you alright, Luke? No! No, he wouldn't be! Wow, I thought I was a goner for a moment there. But I'm okay. At least you made it on board. Yes, thanks to Professor Sycamore. So what do you suppose this room is? It's a bit dark in here. The cargo hold, by the looks of it. We've been rather fortunate not to run into any crew members. But I doubt our luck will hold out forever. Not once we start being our way through the ship. Ah oh, well, no time like the present. Don't worry, Professor. I'm with you. Alright, we're still in the first chapter and we've had uh, quite a bit of epic. <laughs> I missed some things because uh, I went straight to the Bostonius and I wasn't supposed to, so uh, we've actually missed a puzzle, but it's fine. We'll be able to handle it later anyway. Uh, right, we need to search for hint coins. One of which is... Um, there. <laughs> and it said the crane. I was like, what the hell's going on? Let's move that back over here, because I don't want it over there. Jeez. Uh, small crane hanging ceiling, padded wall on left. Padded wall there. And uh, let's have a puzzle. Oh no! This door won't open, Professor! I've remained it this far too. It certainly seems securely shut. But I think we can use these dials to open it. Luke, why don't you give it a try? Leave it to me, Professor! It's a puzzle lock, like always. Puzzle number nine, because we've missed puzzle number eight. Puzzle with 30 picker outs. I think we'll only like, drop two picker outs over. The door of the cargo hold is fitted with a special lock, and Leighton and Luke will have to unlock it before they proceed. The control dial consists of dials that are each separated into four quadrants. These quadrants are marked with the symbols. And which have the values 1 and 5 respectively. To open the door, you need to align the dials so that all four quadrants have the same total value. Okay, so is 1 and is 5. Uh, touch the dial with the stylus and slide in a circle. Okay, work. Well. So, basically. Wait, I can't. Okay, I can turn those dials. I can't turn the middle. But I don't really need to. <laughs> so, uh, what's the value of them all? Uh, that is, uh, we've got one there, that's four, that's two, three, uh, four, three, two, five, seven, eight, three, six, seven, five, uh, two, one, five, four. So my guess is, okay, well, if we get the absolute total of everything, uh, then we can easily uh, just kind of add a, like, Figure out a quarter and then find one thing that matches up to that. So like 6, 11, 12, 13, uh, 17, uh, 22, 25, 32, 33, 36, uh, 38, 44, uh, 46, and the middle ones should add up to 10, so that's 56. Uh, divided by 4 is, um, this is the part I have problems with. <laughs> 28, 40, okay, 14, we need to add up to 14. Uh, how do we do that? So let's try like 1 and 8 and so 10 and then 4. No, 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 back, 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 I can't really get a oh, I can't really get a okay, I didn't know that. Uh, so this one is 6 already, so we need that to have 8. Which means we can't use the 8 with 8, so let's use the 3 and the 5. Is that correct? So like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, but it's not. Uh, what about the 2 and the... Wait, 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 okay. Something I'm not getting here, I reckon. There is something that I'm not getting here. Because yeah, there's too many on the bottom now. I thought it's going to be a cycle, that's, that's kind of poopy. <laughs> uh, 6. So we need 16. Now maybe if I... There's only two that can turn on those, so what if we put like, the most on that side and the least on that side? Does that work? Six. No. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's not. So, I'm pretty sure my 14 was correct. So, one, two, six, so this needs another eight. So, if I maybe put, like, the five with it, and the three. But no, 
like hidden coppers way, way, way too many uh, things. So if you put the one with it, then we need a seven. I don't have a seven. So if you put the seven with it, then I need a one. I don't have a one. If you put the three with it, then I need a five. I don't have a five. I don't... There's something I'm not understanding about this puzzle. Uh... You can learn the dinosaur, all four parts are the same total value. Four, five, six, total three. One, two, zero, five, six, one, two, three. They're all sixes, top, right, and bottom are all sixes, except the left one is like a one, zero, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you've got like both of the lower ones on there. One, zero, five, six, seven, that's twelve. Put that there. Is that what, oh my god, that works! Fourteen on the left, fourteen at the top. I was waiting to be at the bottom. One, zero, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On the right, one, zero, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, Twenty-one at the bottom. Wait, fourteen, fourteen's right there. Uh, it's 16? Okay, if it's 16, then that's right, then left is right, top's right. This one's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Back right is very wrong. Uh... Oh my god, I have completely lost track of what I'm doing. 15, 15, 15, 15. Yes, left, top, correct. 5, 15, 15. Oh my god, it's 15, not 14. I must have missed a four at some point when I was adding them all together then. <laughs> really about this oh my god, is that the first puzzle that's going to have speed up? Oh my god, I think it is. <laughs> I knew I'd get it right. Oh well. I got there in the end. I don't need speed when I have the power of being correct on my side. Each quadrant should have a total value of 15. I thought it was 14 and that's what like held me up. Because apparently I can't add together single numbers, which considering I... well, whatever. <laughs> I did it, Professor! The door is open! Excellent work, Luke. Now let's push on. Carefully, though, we don't want to be spotted. So, hey, we got ourselves a map of the ship. That is awesome. Uh, I'm going to just scroll down in my little uh, thing here. <laughs> Continue into the midship! Let's go. It's even bigger in here than I expected. We might get lost if we're not careful. Right. Shall we take that ladder to the floor above? Oh, you two. Hold it right there. Now, where do you think you're going? Oh, no. They found us already. How shocking. We weren't exactly very stealthy getting in, were we? If they just looked out the window, I'm sure they'd have seen us grapple down onto the ship. you got a lot of guts while in here like tourists. Don't move an inch. I'm warning you. I'm not going to go easy on you just because of the kid. Okay, uh, it looks like you're kind of going easy on us because we're just kind of standing here and you're standing there and we're just, you know, no one's really making a move. <laughs> you don't mind if we just have a, a little search around for hit coins, do you? I'm just going to tap on, tap on the wall over here. Yeah, I'll just take that one. And uh, I'm just going to tap on uh, this, this like beam over here because that's got a hit coin on it. And uh, <laughs> uh, you know what's probably going to happen? Oh, okay. Um, you don't, you don't mind me just pressing these controls, do you? Just, just randomly. No? Alright, well, well this, this is a, you're remarkably going not easy on me. I'm amazed here. I'm, I'm amazed by how not easy you're going on me. You know what's going to happen? You're going to give me a puzzle and when I solve it, you're going to let me past. Because you're going to be just mind blown by, by my amazing puzzle solving skills. That's how it's going to work. Stay right where you are. I promise I won't hurt you. You, you think we're going to do what you say? Fair chance. Wait, Luke, he's up to something. Ha, huh, you've only just noticed. If you're going to have any chance of getting past me, you'll need to use your head. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Puzzle probably number 10. Puzzle number 10. The nice puzzle we're going to solve in this game. Funky hooks! Watch out! Later needs to get across this walkway, but some swinging hooks have made it a dangerous task indeed. The hooks always swing back and forth across the same route. Examine how they move and plan latent steps carefully to get them safely across the other side. Touch squares J's and Vraz Lays is moving in that direction. You can only move in the directions indicated by the little arrows. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay, this is the second episode of Doctor Who, the mini game. So what exactly is going on? Right, we need to basically just kind of dodge stuff. Okay, I I'm, I'm trapped. I'm, I'm absolutely trapped. I'm dead. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do there, so let's undo that. But I could go, like, back, down, up... I get the feeling this puzzle's going to be about kind of uh, eking on by like that. <laughs> Here's my answer. Well, <laughs> yeah, because if you probably, probably if you go on the bottom path, it wouldn't have worked. If you go on the top path, it wouldn't work. But you have to kind of do a little wibble around at the beginning, and then the timing's all fine. Place it made across Saver Town. Awesome. 
And we got a new item clothing, tiny top hat. Well, that's gonna be stylish. Yeah, where's backup when you need it? I can't handle this on my own. I should just face it, I'm always gonna be left on the sidelines. The boss isn't gonna just let you go, you know. Awesome. He ran off! What was that all about? Don't let your guard down, Luke. We aren't safe yet. So we're probably going to have a run-in... Oh wait, no, uh, we can't have a run-in with Bishop, because Bishop was left back at the thingy, wasn't he? Yes, he was! Uh... So yeah, we can actually... Apparently we're not done in here, I thought we were doing it done here. Let us move that to the side and then have a look down there. Oh, there's some way we can zoom. <laughs> hey, engineers! How are you? We're just breaking into the ship. Don't tell your boss, please. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, right, hit coin! Apparently one of the boxes. That'll be over there. Uh, red fuel drums! Oh my god, it's a puzzle! Whoa, it's amazing. You never see those in the late game. Take a good look at those fuel drums, Luke. They appear to form a puzzle. Um, is it really safe for us to be solving puzzles in here, Professor? It could be a trap. Backhand! Luke! You solve this puzzle right now. Trap or not, a gentleman should never leave a puzzle unsolved. Let's give it a try. Or else I will give you a backhand. Luke just doesn't learn. Puzzle number 11, a laborious liter. Pump's easily broken. It won't stop pouring fuel till the drum is full to the brim. Not unless the puzzle is just blah, 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 blah. It's a basic, like, jar filled puzzle. Okay. Uh, wait, how do we do any of these? Okay, so I've got three buttons. One, one that fills one on the left, one that fills one on the right. Wait, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, swap those over. Uh, then we probably need to, like, empty that one. Yeah, wait, no, you, we want to em empty that one, so then we can... Man, the, the controls on this are really annoying, by the way. <laughs> That is the main gripe of, about this game I have, about this puzzle at least. And then we can empty that. No, no, no I didn't mean to empty that, damn it. Okay, now we have to start from the beginning. Uh, yeah, the best way to do this I think would be to uh, just kind of keep doing this over and over again a few times. <laughs> if I'm thinking, I keep thinking that up is going to be filling itself and down is going to be emptying it. Because that makes sense, the liquid is down because you're emptying it. But no, up is empty and down is still, which is weird. <laughs> uh, fill, transfer. Uh, empty, transfer. Fill, transfer. Empty, transfer. Fill, uh, transfer. Empty, transfer. And there we go, we got a litre. If I just do this... <laughs> Easy! Fill, transfer, empty, transfer. Let's Fill, transfer, empty, transfer. transfer. Fill, transfer, empty, transfer. Fill, transfer, empty, transfer. <laughs> I just like the way the hat wibbles on my head. Correct! If with a broken pump you can fulfill the request using the difference in capacity between the two realms, life will be much easier if the pump worked properly though. Yes it would. So it wasn't a trap after all? Phew! Ho ho, you know I would never have touched it if I thought it could be a trap, Luke. Stop teasing me, Professor! Uh, a, a true gentleman never falls in any traps. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's move on to the last room and see what's going to happen in here. Well, well, Professor Layton. You asked me. Who are you? My name is Leon Bronev. I am an archaeologist, just like you. Bronev, does that mean you're a bro? Oh, he's got a proper bro name. Are you? And since when did archaeology involve kidnapping young women? Let Have her you ever go. seen Indiana Jones? Would that I could, but it isn't that easy. You see, this girl is crucial to our plans. You, however, are not. Aww. But I'm a big celebrity in the archaeological field. Oh, come on, guns, really? P Professor! 
Stay calm, Luke. Leighton's like the doctor, he just doesn't like guns. Don't be a fool, Leighton. I can't but, allow anyone to stand in my way. But he really should come packing because everyone else uses guns. That's how violence works. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. it. Okay, yes, I to find it, okay. All of you. Oh shoot! What was that? The instruments have gone crazy, boss. The ship's out of control. <laughs> I love your voice. Ah, uh, prepare for emergency landing. Luke, this way, quickly. Right. Okay. Um, escape sequence! <laughs> what was that strange shockwave thing that just happened? Was it some kind of electromagnetic pulse? Now is not the time to worry about that. We need to get off the ship. Let's go. It was sure weird, whatever it was. Cutscene! Come on, Luke! What do you mean, Professor? Are we going down on that rope? That's right! <laughs> That's a long road. A minor setback. <laughs> okay, Kelfas. <gasps> no! <gasps> Don't! What a graceful landing. That would not happen. <laughs> no way. Uh, so we're stranded in the middle of a forest without Emmy. Just Leighton and Luke. How it should be. Are you alright, Luke? Where are we? What a weird camera angle at the end. Save your progress. And that would be the end of chapter one. Hooray. Uh. It was an accident. I had to make a pun. Oh, well.